Inside this cylindrical vessel, we have a piston that divides the vessel in two equal parts. Now this piston is moved with a external force such that eventually the ratio of the two volumes that the piston divides is eta. So what work needs to be done in order to do that? So we have to find work done by the external force. So let's start from there. So dw is equal to f external into dx. So if the piston is at a distance x and it is further moved by dx, this is dw. And because the piston is moved slowly, the net force on the piston is zero. So f external is p2 minus p1 into a where p1, p2 are at this particular moment. So this becomes p2 minus p1 into a dx. Now because the process is isothermal, so we'll find the values of p2 and p1 in terms of p0 and v0. So for isothermal, p0, v0 is equal to p1, v1. And this is for the left side of the gas. And for the right side of the gas, p0, v0 is equal to p2, v2. So from there, we get the values of P1 and P2. And so V1 also we can write as V0 plus AX. So V1 is this complete volume. That is V0 plus this volume that is AX. And V2 is again V0 minus AX. So that's what we have done. So we'll put the values of P2 and P1. We'll get this equation. So now we get dw in terms of x, but we don't know anything about x. We don't know what will be the limits of the x. We don't know the length of the cylinder. So for that, we need to turn that x into volume. So we'll put ax as v. So that means if this has moved by x amount, then this volume will be v and adx will be dv. So we'll put that, so ADX will put as DV. This AX becomes V. 2 P0 V0 will come out and divide by V0 square minus V square. So that's what we have done here. Now limits of V. So eventually this is the, this is the, let's say the final position of the piston. So it's given that in final position, the the ratio of bigger volume is to smaller volume is eta which means v0 plus v is equal to eta times v0 minus v so solving this we will get the value of v so that is the final v so that will be the limit of v so we do that and then we just integrate and get our answer p0 v0 ln eta plus 1 whole square by 4 eta So this is the work done by the external force in order to divide this vessel into ratio of eta is to one.